Hello everyone, it's Soleil. I am super excited to bring you guys my entry number six from Kayla and her YouTube channel is called Stella Italia Princess Kayla Procaccini and I will have her channel down in the description area so you can go visit her and I have entry number seven this is an Australian entry and she is Debbie from Crafty Stuff I am super excited that I have two entries to present to you guys I will start off with entry number six now Kayla has recently sent me a thank you card for entering a challenge and Kayla said that she actually sent this entry on the same day but this actually arrived after a week. So mail system is very strange. This is what Kayla has made for me. She has used a wonderful glittery iridescent snowman chipboard sticker and she has layered um, some foam tape behind it and then she has like popped it up on this beautiful pastel pinky paper and she has also used the iridescent sparkle snowflake on here and also added this chipboard that says happy holidays to you and yours and inside she has put some more chipboard pieces that says dear santa yourself have yourself a merry christmas and i love all of these chipboard stickers that she has used very pretty paper used as well and i am really loving that kayla is starting to craft more and more and entering challenges as well so thank you so much for your time kayla i really really love this card and she also sent my boys lots of stickers they are going to have so much fun making christmas cards with these and of course i am going to use some too very very cute penguin some christmas stocking adorable polar bear love that polar bear and some santa and reindeer these stickers are really nice kayla thank you so much and more different kinds of Santa. And these Santas have gold foiling. Really nice stickers. And this one has like holographic um, background as well. See that? Do you see all the rainbow color? There is so much here. Thank you so much, Kayla, for your wonderful entry. Next one is entry number seven. This is from Debbie at Crafty Stuff. And she has made this beautiful Christmas card. So she has um, layered some gold cardstock behind this minty paper. And this minty paper is has a very special embossed look. Can you see that? And she has also used some snowflake, added lots of little tiny hearts at the top, and also these gems here. And the colors of the gold and the mint and the pink it is a perfect combination. I love this card and I love the message you wrote inside. Thank you so very much. And I am super excited to open these. So let's see what Debbie has made. I, just, I like saving all the tissue papers so I try not to rip them. There we go. So she has made these ornaments that we can hang on the tree or Oh, this is like a banner. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is such a fabulous idea. They are like angels, but made with bows. Can you see that? And they're all connected. This is a really, really wonderful idea. It is something that we could try to make. This is a really, really nice ornament. So we can hang it down the Christmas tree or we can hang it on the doorway. It's a really, really pretty idea. I love this. This is so nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to study this on how she folded the bows and stuff. That is so pretty. And you guys, when you look at entries like this, now this is a Christmas ornament, but you can create something like this in many different paper collection style and gift it as a happy mail item. And I really love this tissue paper so much. I really have to be careful in not ripping this because I definitely want to add it to my journal and things. 
I'll try to open it really carefully. I love this tissue paper so much. <gasps> Gosh, I love this paper. And then, let's open this one. Now she is a really stunning crafter. She, you guys need to go check out her video and have a look at all of the wonderful things that she creates. What does she make? Oh my gosh, she made me a book. It's an album, I think. Wow, look at that. It's very sparkly and it's got the gold. Lots of die cutting. Die cutting on the deer, the lettering, the flower pieces. And then this, this trim here. I'm not sure if this is a trim. I think it is. It's got that faux leather feel. You see? And she has die cut some of those hearts again. Oh, I think the hearts might have moved a bit. But that's okay. I can glue it back. <gasps> oh my gosh. She made those beautiful flowers. I saw these flowers on her video. And I was like, okay, I need to make some of these. And now I have them. So I don't have to make them. Thank you so much. I love these. Now I'm just going to take one out to show you guys up close. All the sparkle magic in this flower. And if you go back to check her video... Go to her channel, you will see up close how she made this. It's got like all of these iridescent bits on top. Now it's not diamond dust, because diamond dust has more sharper feel, but this one is very soft to touch. And it's so iridescent. I think she said she also mixed a couple of different iridescent glitter as well. So you guys need to go check her channel. This is so pretty. Thank you so very much. I love them. I thought they were stunning and they are even more stunning looking at it right in front of my eyes. So pretty. And then she has made, I'm gonna have to move some of this. I love everything I'm seeing on my desk. So she made an envelope here and inside the envelope, she has die cut so many of those Merry Christmas that she has put on the cover of this book. That is so nice because I don't have anything like that. And then she has die cut some more Merry Christmas word and snowflakes. She's even die cut all of these borders, I bet. And then this one here opens up and then there's more of these die cuts. Lots of die cuts that we can craft with. My boys and I, we're going to try to make... Um, not real gingerbread cookie house, but like a um, made out of cardboard and then painted and add snows and gumdrops and things like that. We do that sometimes. We didn't do that last year, so we're going to do that again this year. And we can add some of these gold reindeers on it, I'm thinking. Here's another intricate snowflake cut. I love them. I love all the iridescent magic, the glitteriness. And I love all of these... Um, embossed paper i'm wondering if this is a kaiser craft paper but i haven't seen this one before really nice so i'm going to open this and inside she's gifted more of those merry christmas you know these merry christmas sign here she's gifted so many thank you so much i'll put this back in here i don't have dies like this and I, although I do enjoy using die cuts, I don't enjoy die cutting a lot. So I am so thankful for this. This one says season's greeting and then there's these tall Christmas trees. And then I love this paper as well, really nice paper. I love the way she used that faux leather trim to do the envelope. And in here, there are some snowflakes. And they are like all in different sizes, like medium and large. You see that one there? I'm gonna take some out. Oh, it says three sizes, 10 of each. That is so kind of you, Debbie. Thank you so much for all the time that you have put in to cut all of these. I am in love with snowflakes. Oh, these are so pretty. Thank you so very much. Wow, we can definitely add this to our gingerbread home as well. Definitely. I love all of these envelopes so much. 
And then there is this golden bow and some more reindeer cuts. Here is another gold foiled envelope, really, really nice. And inside there are bigger size snowflakes. Oh my gosh, it says two sizes. This is so exciting. I love snowflakes and oh my gosh, there's so many in here and I love this. Look at that, so intricate. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Debbie, for all this time that you put in to cut all of these. Wow. And then next one, there are these more beautiful golden trees. And that's really nice too. And she made this. Wow. Okay, let me get them out because this is just too precious. So this is another hanging ornament. But I think... I'm gonna hang it on the tree, then I might just put it on my desk when the Christmas is over because I love all of this sparkleness. Wow, that's so pretty. So she's used, oh, it's on both sides. There and there, you see it up close? So she's used like this really pale blue fabric. And then she made a rosé. Then she also used this um, silver sparkly mesh and made another rosé and put it on top then she used that large snowflake and also added the flat back pearl. That is a really, really wonderful idea. I love this so much. And then there is a pink one in here as well. This is really, really beautiful. Wow. These are stunning. Thank you so much, Debbie. I'm going to give everybody a look of this hanging ornament one more time and I'll put it up close so you guys can study this. You can definitely use any color ribbon to make this and this is going to be such a wonderful gift idea as well. So thank you so much Debbie from Crafty Stuff and also Kayla, thank you so much for your time in making the card and sending my boys and I us this beautiful, wonderful collection of stickers. Thank you so very much to Kayla and Debbie. And I'm gonna show you the front of the book one more time. There you go. Thank you so much everyone for your time and watching this video and joining in on my challenge. Thank you so very much. I will have my challenge video down in the description area also. So if you haven't checked that out, you can watch that one also. Thank you so much, bye.